I've now made up a ball screw with oilers which fit in here um, and uh, the uh, ball screw itself is 16 millimeter diameter and there's two ball nuts which are spaced out and in this case they had to be spaced out so I uh, with a reasonable size so I made up two millimeter brass spacers as well as some shims and uh, the advantage of making up your own brass is that you can um, lap them down uh, so that they're perhaps half a millimetre at a time uh, so they're even more accurate to get together and then uh, I locked all the screws in with uh, thread lock Loctite which can be unscrewed if necessary uh, the other thing I've had to do on this is um, I had to put in the oilways that there were two oilways in each side when I got the mill and so I've made up um, additional oilways and I'll join the holes that feed them here with uh, two screw fittings so what I'll do now is I'll fit this into the mill and you can see that it, it does go in now the only snag with this is that this is over the height of the side here so it means that the table has to be tilted and the gib screw has to be the gib strip has to be removed um, and not put back in until uh, the table is inside um, the little um, section at the ends of the table which hang down um, annoyingly by about nine millimeters eight, eight or nine millimeters so I'll put this at that in and it, it is very heavy and difficult work to do even um, on the floor so I'll get that back together and uh... right I've uh, <clears throat> put the saddle back on the mill and um, just made sure it's connected up properly and um, I've got ready to place the table on uh, I put something underneath the screw just in case I let go of the top and I'm putting it on because it's a bit up to trap your fingers and it is very very heavy um, this is the underside and this is the part that causes the problem getting in oversized ball, ball nuts in it's a, a recess there of about eight millimeters and um, or a downstand of eight millimeters whichever way you want to look at it <coughs> and it has to be got on um, first of all in the normal way uh, but only just as far as the ball nut and then it has to be lifted up um, with the gib screw uh, with the gib strip out um, and then it will just slide past the ball nut bit of a fiddly job to do but it's okay right I put the table on now the parts for the uh, ends of the x-axis and y-axis were made from solid sheet 25 millimeter aluminium which was turned on my Boxford lathe the screw hole positions were directly marked out from the uh, plates that were on the lathe originally. All the parts required can be turned on the lathe. There is no need to use a mill unless you particularly want to. The ball screws are held in a 16mm collet in the lathe and are turned in hard condition to 12 millimeter diameter and the balls nuts themselves can be secured in place to save having to remove them the shavings that come off are blue in color um, with the lathe running at modest speed the thread is a 12 millimeter by 1 millimeter pitch and it is turned in the usual way um, to fit and one of the connectors which has been drilled out and tapped with a 12 by 1 millimeter tap 
So I've now put the table on and all seems well. I put the end plate on on both ends and um, that now turns from end to end giving me um, almost 400 millimeters of movement um, which is fine it runs right from one end to the other done up um, with the gib screw with the gib strip in place um, and this also travels from side to side on the y-axis no trouble at all by by hand so I think that really is the end of the main construction work I just have the uh, lubing and the wiring to do I've put in already into here and into here and various other spots around the mill points in so all told this is uh, turning out to be quite successful and not really got a problem so far it's perhaps worth pointing out that I have included in the fit out all the holes that were in the original bracket including these two which are dowel pins uh, these are marked up in exactly the same position as is this hole uh, so they should have fitted and in fact when I put the whole lot together I haven't had to alter anything I've just made it exactly the same size dimensionally as it was on the original brackets um, and the ball nut the same that's as it was originally so I screwed the whole lot together and I haven't had to make any adjustment at all and these screws have got no slop in them they're just normal tolerance uh, M6 screws um, I think probably the, the best part about it is that the dowel pins hold it nice and straight and I've done the same on this axis as well that's got dowel pins in and the same on the end plate at the other end in fact that screw is one of the dowel pins just sticking out there. I haven't tapped them in hard yet. Uh, no need to do so until I'm really ready. This is the uh, Y axis and you can see at the end here there are two screws showing one there and one there and there in the end of the um, housing for the ball nut uh, screwed in from this direction in and there enough to be able to make a buffer so that when this is screwed up it will hit the casting here and stop now a slight downside it does take up a little bit of room so I lose a little bit of travel so I just did a check just now and I actually get nine and a half inches of travel so I'm happy enough with that it could have been ten but getting these wretched oilers to work in the way in which they do is uh, a bit of a nightmare and I, now that I've got them so they point the right way and they get everything done correctly I'm happy just to leave it as it is and I'll restrict myself to the nine and a half inches. Um, you can see on here I've got the two ball nuts which are shimmed out against each other with a screw going through from here into the block. <coughs> and um, these two oiler fittings go down below here. Can't really see it here. There's a Y junction. underneath there and it curl back and go up into the back of the column so that will be fine like that now um, obviously I need to check to make sure that I, how far I go this way so I'll, I'll just switch this off for a moment now this is with the ball that moved as far in this direction as I can and um, you can see the problem with the oiler touching the end of here 
So what I'm going to do probably is to fit a bump stop using these screws possibly or maybe even a fresh screw on here. Possibly actually it might be better a fresh screw onto there coming out um, which will then hit the casting before this is, is hit. These are really tricky things to do, fitting these oilers, as I've discovered. But anyway, I've solved this one now.